Hey everyone, welcome to Audio Architects. If it's your first time here, definitely check out my other content because you might dig it. As well as if you do enjoy the content, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel because it definitely helps out us smaller channels, as well as ring the bell to get notified every time I put out new content. So what am I gonna be getting into today? Today I'm gonna be addressing an issue that I feel uh, needed to be addressed with the FX Audio Tube Preamp. Uh, the Tube 03 preamp from FX Audio, from Amazon. So I had a guy email me and let me know there are ways to upgrade this without soldering, without doing anything crazy, which are two things. We're gonna upgrade the OP amp and we're gonna also gonna upgrade the tubes on the FX Audio. So I have done videos about FX Audio products in the past, which you can find right here. So what I went and did is I bought a brand new Tube 03 to be able to do these adjustments to and these enhancements and upgrades, as well as A-B test it with a stock Tube 03. So I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna get into this. And I'm gonna show you guys step by step what I do and how I do it. So that way, if you guys have a Tube 03 preamp, you will be able to know how to upgrade it and if there is an audible difference after the upgrades are done. I'm excited to find out. Check it out. So the question at hand is whether or not the upgrade from the stock op amp and tube that the FX Audio Tube 03 came with will inevitably make an audible difference. Well, let's start off by explaining what an op amp is and what it does. An operational amplifier, or op amp for short, is an integrated circuit that can amplify weak electric signals. An operational amplifier has two input pins and one output pin. Its basic role is to amplify and output the voltage difference between the two input pins. However, why am I replacing the ones in the FX Audio preamp? Because the fact that this product came from China and is so inexpensive, it could be a good indicator that the op amp used could either not be quality or fake in general. So I took my friend's advice and looked up a few online on a website called DigiKey. DigiKey has an incredible selection of electronic components such as these. These op amps control the bass and treble of the preamp, so by trying different types of op amps, you could very well discover that some may make your bass and treble sound better than others, which is why my friend Clay from Ram by Monkeys implored I try out different models. For reference though, I am only going to be testing one type. Below this video, you will find links to all the products used in this experiment. Now, before taking on this project a few months ago, I wasn't aware that the tubes themselves play a significant part in shaping the sonic personalities of an amplifier. However, after just spending around 20 bucks on a 
a pair of Soviet tubes or valves as they are sometimes referred to can very well enhance your experience with the amplifier. For example, certain tubes can tame an overly bright or harsh amp, as well as increase its headroom. I'd encourage you to experiment with different tubes to see how preamp tube swaps could fine tune the overall sound as well as help you find that sweet spot. Okay guys, so after testing it and testing it and testing it over and over again with uh, its twin brother over here, I come to the conclusion that OP amps do make a huge difference. And let me tell you how. I switched the amps, as you saw in the video, I switched out the OP amps and everything, and everything went well. Everything uh, powered up the way it should. And I, I set the settings exactly the same, um, exa exactly the same as the other one, and just A-beat it. Just A-beat it. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting a huge audible difference, but what I found was that it was cleaner and the clarity was better. The bass and the highs were just just more defined, more character to the sound. We literally turned a $30 amplifier, pre-amplifier into something that could compete with things well above its price range. So I want to give a huge shout out to Ram by Monkeys. He has a YouTube channel now where he does tutorials on stuff like this. Uh, thank you so much, Clay, for, you know, setting me up correctly and giving me great advice. Um, I've been emailing back and forth with him for the past, I don't know, month and a half. I finally pulled the trigger on this and I'm not disappointed. I think that this just took the tube zero, uh, 203 to a whole new level. I'm really surprised. I'm actually really, really impressed and surprised because I was not expecting what what happened. So what he has informed me now, because the OP amps I use were, what, five bucks, you know, each. So there's some out there that for about 50 to to $100 that I want to try just to see if there is even a better difference. So stay tuned because I'm definitely going to be getting more into the tinkering with, with these types of things. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the content. I hope you guys actually, if you guys are interested in doing this, drop me a comment or send me a DM or what, however you want to get a hold of me, get a hold of me and I'll kind of get, walk you through how he walked me through. So that way, you guys have the opportunity to possibly build something like this as well. I'll go ahead and put all the parts list in the description below. If you enjoyed the content, definitely smash that like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and of course, ring that bell so you get notified every time I put out new content. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'm going to go listen to some music. Have a great day.